Hmm. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Oh, why do I keep doing this? Hey everybody, welcome back to Messy Vegan Baker. I'm Christina, and today is day 12 of 12 days of baking. <gasps> Yay, last day! And I'm very excited. Um, don't get me wrong, I do love baking, and I will still be doing more of it this holiday season, but I'm excited to not have to edit as much, because it's... It's a lot. While this has been a lot of fun and hopefully you guys have really enjoyed it, it's a lot of work. <laughs> so today we're going to be making gingerbread cookies. Or no, gingerbread men. Vegan, of course. And this recipe is from Mark Bittman's How to Make Everything. <laughs> I'm gonna be using coconut oil again. However, if you want, you can use vegan butter. Just substitute the same amount. And I think without further ado, let's get baking. I don't like how I said that. <laughs> Let's get baking. These are cookies. So you guys should have this all pre-planned slash know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm saying. So we are going to have a cup of coconut oil at room temperature and you're going to stick that in the mixer. You're gonna mix it for like a few seconds just to try to help it, I don't know, get fluffier slash It'll give you a better idea of if you need to warm it up more or if it's good to go. And then you're going to stick in the molasses, the granulated sugar, the packed brown sugar, and you're going to whip that together or cream it together until it is a nice, homogenous, smooth mixture. So I had to heat mine up just because there were a few clumps of coconut oil and I really just didn't want those. So I heated it up with the hair dryer <laughs> and yeah, so then it was a nice mixture. And then I stopped the mixer and I put in the flour, ginger, cinnamon, baking soda, and salt. And I just mixed that until just combined. And then I cut the dough in half and I put um, half of it in plastic wrap, the other half in other plastic wrap. And then I made them into disc shapes and then I wrapped them and I put them in the fridge for at least two hours or overnight. And then you're gonna take it out 15 minutes before you want to roll them out, which, yeah, especially if you're using coconut oil, you have to let it warm up. Um, I might do my little trick where I stick these in the microwave for 10 seconds so I can get them to roll out. And then you're going to lightly flour a work surface and you're gonna roll out the dough or one disc of the dough and then you can do the other one and you're gonna cut them out. I'm gonna use these two cutie patooties, but pfft, Use whatever you want. And then we're going to stick them in the freezer again for 10 minutes so that way they keep their shape and they stay cute little <clears throat> thing of doodads. People, gingerbread men and women, whatever. And then we're gonna bake them in the oven that is 350 degrees Fahrenheit for eight to 10 minutes until the edges are crisp. And then you want the centers to still be poofy and soft. So I definitely would bake them for like five minutes and check up on them, <clears throat> just so that way they don't become hard and crunchy. And then put them on a cooling rack after like five minutes so they have time to kind of cool down a little bit more. And then you can decorate them if you want. Also, you're going to roll these out an eighth of an inch thick. So this is going to be very thin dough, unlike our sugar cookies, which should be thicker. <laughs> as you can see, I haven't actually done that yet, but I'm getting to it. But as you all probably know, it's in the December. It's December. And the light is, uh, it, it doesn't like to stay very long. I figured I should just film this part so I have good light and I don't look like a weirdo. I'll show you guys the actual results afterwards. I will have a blog post with this recipe and I'll have the link to that in the description box down below. And I will taste them at some point and let you know how they are probably right here, insert text. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this series, I guess we'll call it. If there are any cookies that you want to see next year, let me know. If you're new here or if you haven't already, you should hit that like button and the subscribe button. I know, it's annoying. Everyone says it. Whatever. If you're old to the channel, hello, welcome back. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I love getting to talk to you guys in the comments too. It's super fun because you guys are always so sweet and have really good ideas. Feels weird saying goodbye because, I mean, my sister and I are gonna do a video, but like, I won't post again until January. Wow. 
I should wrap this up because editing me is going to kill me. <laughs> um, okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you guys learned something and or were entertained. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and I will see all of you lovely humans next time. Bye. Is day 12. I was going to do, oh, well, that's okay. The, oh, hold on. Don't know why I can't think of how to say things smoothly today, but honestly, what's new? <laughs> so actually we're gonna bake them, yeah, for like, I can put little text inserts of like, yay, they turned out well. The recipe for this, for these cookies will be in my, and they're getting softer, so that's nice. Theoretically. If you were old to this channel, ooh, editing's gonna be fun. 